Hey guys, so today I am going to be coloring in a character um, that was actually requested by a viewer. She already requested a character which is Karma from Assassination Classroom and I already posted the video so if you wanted to see that it's on a my drawings playlist. But anyway she requested another one and I have time so I said why not and I decided to do it. So this is Himiko Toga from My Hero Academia. So I'm just going to start coloring and then kind of go over stuff. So first I'm going to use GG9, which is a dark green gray for her mouth uh, neck piece. So basically for My Hero Academia characters, I have to say most of the time I don't really like the villains, like I'm not into them because they are evil. Um, Toga, I can kind of emphasize with her because in the society where people are born with powers, you don't choose what powers you have. And so like she was born with powers where basically she can imitate people I believe that's her quirk like she can become like she can look like other people and basically it happens when she like ingests blood and the issue with that is like it's seen as scary because it's using people's bodies like to do that so people are actually quite afraid of her and I can see why because society has kind of looked down on powers that have to do with like dealing with people's body parts and stuff like that. Um, she kind of went down like a dark path from her past, so she ended up being evil. And uh, also quirks actually have to do with um, quirks actually have to do with like, um, what was I was about to say? I was about to say something important. Um, they also have to, not only do they give you like physical powers, but they mentally affect you too. Um, some characters have like insomnia and sleeping disorders because of their quirks, and others have like different mental strains on because of their quirks. Um, for her, she's a bit psychotic her character and personality wise um, and I don't blame her really because that's what happens when you ingest people's blood you kind of go a bit crazy but she's not really my favorite because I don't really have a favorite villain I just kind of chose Dobby because he looks edgy but to be honest I can emphasize with her character a bit more because I haven't seen the second movie for My Hero Academia. I think it touches more on like Dobby's character and Hawks's, but I haven't been able to watch it because I can't find it anywhere online. So hopefully when I find it, I'll be able to see. But basically, yeah, that's her character. I wouldn't say it's necessarily so bad, but again, different preferences on characters but I like her design overall it's cute and uh she's she's like one of those school girls so she's super cutely dressed and stuff like that but but it's kind of a twist because like her personality her quirk and everything it kind of just mixes everything up a bit and like Yeah, I think she's, like, one of the youngest villains there, I believe. But she's, like, super different. So there's her um, mouthpiece, the jaw piece that goes underneath her jaw and on her neck. So I am going to color in these tubes, um, silver color. I'm going to use, do, do, do. I am going to use CG2, which is a cool gray. I'm 
Actually, what's funny is my brother forgot his phone at home. I tried to message him, oh, when are you coming home? So that way I knew when to film because like when he comes home, he starts talking and then it's kind of awkward because he'll enter in the house saying hello really loudly. So I didn't want him to interrupt, but now I don't know when he's coming. So hopefully I finish this before he comes. <laughs> Don't know what color are her tubes on the back. They kind of look greenish, but I'm just going to leave them white for now. Um, maybe I'll come back to it like when I'm off camera and color it. Or, like I need to see other references. I don't know why I didn't get like a better reference. So I'm going to use CG4 to kind of shade in these two parts though. I like her design overall, like the tubes next to her neck and everything, and the jaw piece is super cool. And she does have a mask, but I didn't put the mask on it because I wanted to show her face. The only thing that I left out was kind of like this belt that had like pouches. I kind of forgot to draw it, and I was like, do I need it? Maybe not. So I decided to leave it out. Next, I'm going to use R15 for her scarf. She's like in this cute schoolgirl outfit, which is really nice. Like, you wouldn't expect a villain to be in that, but it's super cute. I do like her design. Her hair is really cute, too. Like, it's in these cute buns, which... I feel like in real life it's hard to tie buns like I want to, but my hair is like really short, so I didn't bother. I don't know if I would look good with buns, to be honest. <laughs> it's just one of those things where I was like, I don't know if it looks good. So I never tried. And then I am going to use R4 to shade them in, shade the scarf in. I always like the design of like the Japanese uniform. I know it's really popular, like people who watch anime, they like it too. It's just super cute with like the scarf. Okay, and then for her shirt, I actually am running out of ink on this one. But this is raw silk. It's what I used to color her skin tone, but I also colored in her hair with it because it's running out. I don't necessarily have a lighter tan color, so I'm using this to kind of cheat so that way I get the right color that I want. But basically you can see how faded it is, like you can barely see it on camera but it works for the coloring. And uh, yeah, this marker is almost dead, so kind of helps. Yeah, like for the villains, I like that you can kind of emphasize with them because they all have these powers that are like society. If they look at them, they're like scary looking powers. So I understand why people got scared of them. But at the same time, it's like that's why they became villains because like society looks down on people with certain powers and it wasn't nice to them. Like some of them felt judged and stuff like that. So it really... You know, they really are interesting and in how dangerous they are. But at the same time, I guess I didn't like them because they were going after kids. Like, they're trying to kill teenagers in high school. So it's like, guys, you're, like, not going after adults. You're going after kids. So it's, like, super dangerous. And that's kind of why, like, Shinso, which is, like, this other guy 
who's like, he wants to be a hero, but his quirk is mind control, so he can control people's minds, but he doesn't want to be evil. Like, all his life, when he was a kid, like, even in school, his friends would be like, oh, your power is super cool, you can use it for evil stuff, and then he's like, but... I don't want to use it for that. So he's kind of really been one of those characters I was fascinated at. Like something that like he goes against the grain. Like him and Toga are like complete opposites. She's like she felt so different to the point where she took like the bad the bad route. As for like Shinso, he's kind of going the opposite. He's going he's like going against the grain from what people see him as because of his quirk and I think he's really one of the characters that intrigues me more um but Toga is still a good character like she's like one of those hurt people that like just needs love you know I'm going to use GG3 which is another green gray to outline her to shade in her uh uniform She's wearing like a cardigan. I have thought of like cosplaying as her, but I feel like her outfit might be like super warm to wear. So it might be uncomfortable for me just because I'm not good with like hot clothing in general. Like if it's too warm, like I get heat stroke easily. So I felt like maybe I shouldn't. Which is a shame because her clothes does look super cute. Like I would want to wear that. But yeah, I like how they take characters and they have like good backstories. Some of them... It's a bit, it's a bit cliche, but you know, it's it's okay. Like my brother was like complaining and ranting about fan service this morning. He's like, I don't like fan service. I'm like, well, it is what it is. Sometimes like I'm okay with fan service, but like I'm neutral about it. If it doesn't really add that much to the story, I don't really like it that much, but if it adds something to the story, like My Hero Academia does have fan service and it does kind of add more to the story once in a while. So sometimes I like that. Like you get to see a side of a character that you normally don't see, which is what I like. Because like there's been fan service of Bakugo and you see certain sides of him that you don't see because you always see him as angry. But they get you get glimpse of him being happy and stuff like that so it's really nice okay so i'm done that and then i am going to color in her skirt it's basically a navy blue i'm gonna use pv72 which is napoleon blue These colors of like the clothing, to be honest, like the whiter, like platinum blonde type of stuff, it really kind of gets to me because I don't have any lighter colors, which I should have bought, but 
I use the same marker, just lighter, so kind of works out. It's just kind of awkward because I'm like, okay, I got to color in lighter. So yeah, but I like the challenge. It's pretty nice. I just don't have like a really blonde color for her hair. It's like a tanner color, so I wish I had that instead. Like, I was going to use the one that I used to shade the face, but it's a bit too dark and it's a bit too peachy color for her hair instead of like actual blonde. I'm going to use PB70, which is royal blue, for her skirt shading, and then I'm done. Um, I don't really have a good reference for the tubes that come off of her silver stuff so I am going to have to go see that afterwards. so here is my coloring process complete thanks again to jennifer offner which is the viewer who requested karma and uh, now toga um my next video will be outlining her for sure so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share check down in the description box below all my social media is there you can go like and follow those and just letting you know um if you follow on my social media all of the process work for toga will be posted on there um did you do what else oh and if you want to see my other anime drawings or my hero academia drawings check out my drawings playlist all my drawings are there hope you guys enjoyed this video Bye!